Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sharmin. Today I'm going to teach you deamination. Okay, so let's get started. So if more protein is eaten than is needed, the excess can't be stored in the body, right? So it would be wasteful, however, simply to get rid of all the excess because the amino acids provide useful energy. So to make use of this energy, the liver removes the amino groups in a process known as deamination. Okay, so this is the process. So this diagram shows how you can see this diagram. Okay, so uh, this diagram shows that deamination takes place in the liver cells and the amino of an amino acid is removed uh, to, uh, uh, together with an extra hydrogen atom okay so this is ammonia okay so this is amo uh, amino acid keto acid okay so uh, so yeah and uh, Deamination takes place in the liver cells and the ammonia of an amino acid is removed and removed together with an extra hydrogen atom. So these combine to produce ammonia and the keto acid, okay, keto acid that removes may enter the Krebs cycle and be respired or it may be converted to glucose or converted to glucose or fat for storage okay so you can see this one okay so keto is it uh, so yeah and ammonia is more soluble and highly toxic compound in many aquatic animals such as fish okay that, uh, that live in fresh water and ammonia diffuses from the blood and dissolves in the water around the animal so however in terrestrial animals such as humans ammonia would rapidly build up in the blood and cause immense damage and damage is prevented by converting ammonia so immediately to urea and which is less soluble and less toxin uh, toxic okay so several reactions known as the urea cycle are involved in uh, combining ammonia and carbon dioxide to form urea so you can see this one okay carbon dioxide here and this is urea okay and here is a water okay this one is a water okay so uh, these are simplified as shown in here so an adult human produce, uh, produces around 25 to 30 grams of urea per day. Okay, so urea is the main nitrogenous extra, um, excretory product of humans. And we also produce small quantities of other in nitrogenous excretory products and mainly creatinine and uric acid and substance called uh, uh, creatine is made in the liver from certain ammoni amino acids much of uh, this uh, creatine is used in the muscles in the form of creatine phosphate so where it acts as an energy store and however some is converted to creatinine and excreted so uric acid is made from the breakdown of purines from nucleotides not from amino acids okay so urea diffuses from liver cells into the blood plasma all of this urea made each day must of excreted or its concentration in the blood would build up and become dangerous okay so as the blood passes through the kidney the urea is filtered out and excreted to explain how this happens and you must look at the structure of kidney okay so guys i hope that's all thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friend if you need more class go to my website www.educatorbiology.simplesite.com that's